Okay, so let's take a look at some of the other options that we have inside of the shape tool. And let's actually take a look at the star. The star, so I have this little star created right here. I'm gonna take this guy, I'm gonna move him over and leave him over in the corner. So let's say that I'm drawing a star, and right now when I draw the star, I have a star that has five sides. What about if I want to add more sides to the star? Well, it's actually pretty easy. Um, I could draw the star, oh, okay, and I actually changed mine around. And the up and down arrows, if I go down, I could create a perfect triangle with just three. That's where it ends, because if it doesn't have three sides, it's no longer a shape, right? Um, or you know what I mean? Um, if I was if I was to go from a triangle, take one away, it's no longer an enclosed shape. All right. So if I want to add, I can just hit my up arrow and I can continue to add points. Now, but let's say that I want to manually do this. Well, all I would do is once you have the shape drawn, is if you click it with the shape tool selected, you can actually choose what this looks like. And what's really awesome too is you can actually change the radius. All right, so let's say that I um, change the radius to 0.0003 for radius one. I hit OK, and we can see in my star the look of my star has changed. But let's let's change it again. Let's change um, you know radius two, and this is to I'm going to put it up. Let's go to 0.9 inches. We'll hit OK. All right, so now it changed into a shape. Um, we want to change this around to point oh oh oh. We'll say OK. And here is the shape right in here. All right, and if I zoom in, it's actually a hard one to see because I, I made it. Let me change the color, make it darker. Oh, I don't think I have it selected. All right, so first thing I need to do is I need to have it selected. I can come in, I can make the color nice and dark. Now this looks like just a little, um, right, but the possibilities, there's a lot of possibilities. Again, if I wanted to change it more, I would click the shape tool and then just click on that shape once. Maybe I want to add a one there. A little bit bigger. All right, so let's take a look. Maybe, now maybe I want to take this and put it over top of this one and there we have it now we have a little bit of a of a different look to it um, all right moving right along all right so um, let's say that you know I want to draw another shape we want to put a shape over top of this one let's say that we grab our polygon tool let's actually change the color let's come on in let's just grab something from our swatch Let's go for that one. That one looks a little bit better. And we draw this shape right here. This has two, four, six sides to it. I'm sure we can see if we want to add more sides. Again, up and down arrow. Um, but also we could click right on it and we could change uh, the amount of sides that we have very easily. Adding one more side. What happens is a new shape emerges. Okay, so there we have it. Lots of possibilities within the shape tool to change things around as we work. Um, now, another thing that we didn't really address um, was what happens, like how do these shapes, what about if we want one shape behind another? So let's say that I drew this shape right here, but I want this shape behind these other shapes. Well, how do I go about doing that? What we wanna do is we wanna come to Object Arrange and we could say Send to Back and now it's behind it. So what happens here, and let's take a look at that. If I open up my layers, okay, and I click right down here, and it's, sometimes it's a lot to look at, uh, but you'll get very familiar with this as you work. This is pretty much the order of these objects as they come in. Um, so what I did, if I was to take this, that's that shape right here, and I said Object Arrange, Bring to Front, what you're gonna see is it will actually pop up and it will be up on the top. Okay, but what I want here is object arrange, send it back. Now, let's see if I say object arrange, send backwards, see what happens? It sends it back one. Object arrange, send backward, it sends it back one. 
So sometimes you're gonna just want it to be behind one, sometimes you're gonna want it to go all the way to the back. So we're gonna come object arrange, send to back, and there we have it. Thanks for listening.